Now what you see on screen is an idea of using PowerDirector as, and I'm just going to play it, a voice first microphone or dictating machine. So normally we would actually produce the videos and the slides and add the voiceover later if that's how you work. So let me just show you something how we could do it very very quickly. So all I've done on screen so far and the voice that you're hearing which is my voice is recorded as a standalone on my Zoom H1 microphone which I'll add to this video later and the reason is is the mobile phone the G4 can only be using one microphone at the moment and I'm going to arm that for voiceover so let's just imagine we had to be in a situation where we wanted to speak freely or record an interview now at the moment I've added a black slide of about one minute exactly if you look that is one minute I'm going to add a second slide and you've got to have the slide first so bear with me in that I'm going to add a color board and I'm going to make it a different color this time let's just say it's a red and I'm just going to add it in and what I'm going to do there for this example is I'm just going to come back and then just slide it out so what, what I'm doing is I'm arming my power director at the moment for a two minute session you can drag these color boards into however long you want them to go so let's just do this in practice so now I come to where I want to sit the phone on a desk or walk around in real life and I want to speak freely so then what I do is I say okay I want to use it as a dictating machine so I go to add a voiceover and then the moment I hit it on the first track here we go now what you're hearing is my voice coming through the Zoom H1 but as you can clearly see on the left hand side there is the bar uh, which is recording onto the mobile phone and therefore in PowerDirector and I'm going to stop. So now let's just play that back if you're with me. So we're going to say okay that's fine let's just play and I'm going to stop speaking and you listen to the machine. Just put the volume up. Come on. Right volume's up here right three two one. Can you see what we've done there? So we, all we've done is armed power director with a blank slide. Then we've gone to, so if I wanted to carry on and let's say I did, I was out in um, the real life somewhere, I don't know. Let's say I did my audio and it was really bad and I needed to revoice it um, to add a second audio from studio. So if I wanted to carry on like this, I'd say, oh, excuse me, can I, can I talk to you for a moment? Yeah, of course. Um, right, speak into this mobile. And then I'd go, you know, let's say first audio track. And welcome to the show. It's lovely for you to be here. And um, can I ask you, what, what is it you do here? Blah -de blah -de blah Stop. And then you can see that I can replay. And welcome to the show. It's lovely for you to be here. And um, can I ask you, what is it you do here? Blah -de blah -de blah Stop. Okay, so I'm going to save that. That is it. This video must be a bit garbled because it wouldn't be done right if it wasn't. So in other words, what I've got here, going back to finish it, is using PowerDirector as a voice first microphone or dictating machine. The next video I'm going to make on this will be where I am actually speaking freely in real life. And then I wish to add the video and add the slides later. And that is a huge important part if you're going to um, say record an interview first and then start to speak about um, sorry to to illustrate adding in slides and video and various things to illustrate what the speaker is about to talk about because if you can you see the chicken and egg thing in here look, look let's finish here uh, thank you for watching and listening